Portsmouth owes its importance to the magnificent natural harbor, which, since the days of the Spanish Armada, has served as the principal base of the Royal Navy. Today, Her Majesty's naval base, Portsmouth, HMNB Portsmouth, remains the most important naval station in Great Britain. Number 1 HMS Victory A short distance north of the landing stage for ferries to the Isle of Wight, in Portsmouth historic dockyard, visitors can find the gateway to the old docks and the site of Lord Nelson's famous flagship. Built in 1765, the magnificent 197-foot-long HMS Victory along with its five decks and 104 cannons has been beautifully restored to its former glory. Number 2 Mary Rose Museum The famed Mary Rose, part of Henry VIII's fleet, is a ship of great historical interest. This four-deck vessel with its 91 bronze cannons was built in 1509 and enlarged to 700 tons in 1536. In 1545, during a sea battle against the French, it sank just a mile and a quarter from its home port in the Solent. Number 3 HMS Warrior In June 1987, after eight years of restoration work in Hartlepool, HMS Warrior finally returned to its home port of Portsmouth. Launched in 1860 and one of the world's first iron-hulled warships, this 418-foot-long, 9,700-ton vessel ranked as one of the biggest and best-equipped vessels of its type. Number 4 Emirates Spinnaker Tower Soaring nearly 560 feet, 170 meters, above the Solent, the Emirates Spinnaker Tower is a highlight of any visit to Portsmouth. Located on the waterfront at Gunwharf Keys, this popular tourist attraction offers wonderful panoramic views of the city and its spectacular harbor, as well as the South Coast and the Isle of Wight. Number 5 Royal Navy Submarine Museum Just across the water from Portsmouth in Gosport is the Royal Navy Submarine Museum. Highlights include Britain's first submarine, Holland I, launched in 1901, along with HMS Alliance, launched just after the close of World War II. Number 6 Round and Square Towers The Round Tower, 1418, and the Square Tower, 1494, have, for centuries, guarded the entrance to Portsmouth Harbor. The Square Tower was originally the residence of the military governor and is today used for functions, weddings, indoor markets, and concerts. Number 7 Portsmouth Cathedral The foundation stone of Portsmouth Cathedral, formerly known as the Cathedral Church of St. Thomas of Canterbury, was laid in 1185. The chancel and transepts date from Norman times, while the choir is in the late style of Sir Christopher Wren. A highlight is the south side aisle of the choir, dedicated to the Royal Navy, and including mementos of the Mary Rose and Nelson's HMS Victory. Number 8 Charles Dickens Birthplace Museum The Charles Dickens Birthplace Museum consists of the house where the great novelist was born in 1812 as well as many fine examples of Regency furniture that once belonged to his family. Among the memorabilia are manuscripts, copies of his novels, and his deathbed, brought here from his home in Gads Hill Place, Kent. Number 9 Portsmouth City Museum and Art Gallery The twin-turreted and strangely attractive Victorian-era Portsmouth City Museum and Art Gallery is worth visiting for its extensive collections of art and craftwork. Another big draw is the museum's large collection of material related to Arthur Conan Doyle, the creator of the hugely popular Sherlock Holmes character. Number 10 The D-Day Story The excellent D-Day story in Southsea houses numerous fascinating displays relating to the Allied invasion of France's Normandy coastline in 1944. Highlights include weaponry and vehicles used during the invasion, along with immersive displays that include the sights and sounds of the battle and the long preparation leading up to it. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.